Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel and another reaction video. This time we'll be checking out uh, Preacher Season 2, Episode 7. Everyone I trust with my life or anyone else's is already involved in this thing. What about Roscoe? You trust her? Who's Roscoe? Uh -oh. She's a friend back in Margrave. Oh no, hopefully we're not gonna get, you know, some teen drama between these two. Hey, and he calls me every year on my birthday, so yeah, I think you do me a favor. Buffalo it is. All right, I'll give him a call. It won't be forever. We just need to kill a few more people. <laughs> Looks back there. Awkward. Um, can we have candy or do we need to talk about murder some more? <laughs> Richard is a bad influence. Well, I don't know, might be a good influence as <laughs> well. In this world, it's a good influence, definitely. It's the only Clark bar. <laughs> I definitely need to start reading up on these Richard books. Oh, your last bit of goodwill. <laughs> wow. Where that meeting's taking place? What the fuck are you talking about? Nobody ever said anything like that to me. Yeah. Uh, does this guy know anything? You can't. Honestly, that guy should have gone to prison, and I feel like now he got, a little, got off a little too easy. Or square. <laughs> I'm trying to bring back the classic look. You want to help me out? Sure. Well, yeah, man, I mean, he would be good with kids. Yo. Okay. Those plans might have included heading off base. Unnecessarily. Won't give you that idea. Runner. The big buy's happening tonight. Hmm. Where? Some abandoned military. Get thousands of kilos of heroin into the country. And we'll be making sure the criminals hiding behind the name of the United States. I think that's an okay trade. It's gonna be the uh High ranking officer, but Baldy, dude. I'll leave you to make your own decision. If any of you don't want to be involved, out of here right now with your chin held high. No one's gonna go. Jack Reach of the 110th Military Police Special Investigations Unit. We have reason to believe these vehicles. Neil, with your fingers in a lock behind your head while we conduct our search. You don't have a warrant. There's Somebody maybe tipped them off and they're wasting their time. Damn it! It's the um. Perhaps you were misinformed. I mean, that's honestly pretty obvious place now that you think about it. My buyers might have something to say about that. <laughs> of course, this guy's sk skipping town, but I mean, I'm not and all that. Uh, 
Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. They're not showing that one guy really shooting anyone. I like that they're keeping the um they joked about him not being able to aim and kinda showcases here that he use a sneak attack and hole. So scrunchy. this guy oh he might be paralyzed no I am starting to see the appeal of your minimalistic lifestyle Everyone enjoying themselves. Each and every one of you will be disciplined. And I? Well, I just got my ass handed to me by the Colonel himself. You're all hereby relieved of your duty. Yeah, this guy's a douchebag. I'd be holy shit, he really did it. When and where is Lansing meeting his buyer? I don't know. I think you... ...as soon as he's medically cleared. You don't think Langston has someone on the way here right now to take you out? What are you doing? I, I don't know. I feel like even if it beeped in for, for, for a moment, someone would come and check. And a word you say. I'm Gaetano Russo. Ooh. That's cold. I mean, there was a cop who's uh, whatever. I do like that the bad guy actually noticed them, noticing him. Shit. Uh oh. I wanted to question him. Give me some good news. Sure. You're down another man, but I left his body in the morgue. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I don't like their phone calls. Killed her in the hospital basement, then I slit his jugular with a bone saw. Then you come here now. I leave now, they start tailing me. You want them following me to you? I'll be there sometime tonight. I need proof of life. Oh, you'll get it. But if you try anything cute, you'll get... Does he buy that? I feel like it. Is it? It'd be really stupid to buy. Don't think you can pull a few strings and find out I'm not the coroner's. 
eventually. So then I bought. Uh, okay. Ah, yeah, call it. It's another one. Yeah. Need him. Well, that's what it's going to take to make all of this go away. Done. Look, reach. Do we trust this guy? Besides, if this all went to shit, you wouldn't be the last member of the one tenth for long. Four hours. Asshole. I guess that's uh, that's Richard's way of having a touching moment. Well, there we have it folks episode 7 and that's a really good cliffhanger but yeah and uh, episode 8 is the last one so expecting a grand showdown but yeah this episode had a had a lot Dixon O'Donnell got captured off screen honestly I don't know kind of came, came out of nowhere pardon me does like it but yeah. So now the question is: Do we trust the senator dude and his? Uh, uh, they mentioned how he had but two seals and a ranger coming to help. Hopefully they'll be you know helpful. Are we gonna lose any more of them? One tenth. We we have yet to see Swan. He might be there, captured or is he already dead or? I don't know. Maybe they'll pull that. He's still actually a bad guy. I doubt that. But yeah. Pretty good. Pretty damn good action scene in the flashbacks going up, up against the dirty soldiers and the truck runners. But yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm wondering: is the um, is the bold officer? I mean, he's clearly a kind of an antagonist in the flashbacks, but I was expecting him to come full circle. It started to come full circle that he's also somehow involved in the present day stuff, but I don't know, maybe he has a, turns out to be a bad guy now. Uh, future seasons, I don't know if he's a character in the books, but I'm uh, gonna see him being a bigger foe. <laughs> but yeah, then him drop Rasko this episode and. I mean, we we got Finley for one episode, but it would have been cool to see Rusko as well. But yeah, I, and I I have not read the books, but I'm assuming each book is its own story, which with its own side characters and whatnot. So I guess it makes sense. Once again, the bad guy didn't do the smart thing and kill Reacher and the other two immediately, but I mean, Neil is out there and I think the Langston knows that, so he's probably expecting trouble. I don't know. I feel like the villains in this season has been quite dumb, so who knows what's gonna happen. But so far, the biggest disappointment has been the other bad guy, the, the, the guy buying the missiles. He hasn't done much, I mean, he's... We've seen him travel around, kill some people, but he's, he's yet to do anything to make it feel like he's, you know, a big bad guy. I wonder how they're gonna take it down, or is, he, is it gonna be now he's, he's gonna escape and Richard has to deal with him in a future season. That would that, be a cool story, like, you know, villains are coming back later on. I don't know if this is gonna get season. Ah, um, but anyway, still really good episode. What do you guys think? Write your thoughts down below. Hope you enjoyed my reaction. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Want to know? We'll see you in another video.